really is no other way to describe this. Since the surveillance video that I saw, which we're unable to share, it's really within seconds that this driver gets out and fires at this U of H student. I counted six times that that gun went off. Today we learned more about 20-year-old Humphreys Migara and where, his, where he came from. His family says here to Houston to build a better life. Oh, it's very painful. I can't imagine. It's gone forever. Hard to imagine processing something like this. An innocent life taken over a car accident. Just a minor accident. The driver just come out and shoot my son like that. Deputies say 20-year-old Humphreys Maguira accidentally collided with a car here near Beechnut and Attic's clothing. The accident was minor, but still, the driver of the other car decided to get out and shoot Humphreys several times. According to investigators, he was killed. So I can't see my son again. <laughs> Like in Houston, Texas is where Josephine Kuyangana and her family came just eight years ago from Tanzania, seeking a better life, more opportunity. And that's exactly what Humphreys was finding, a graduate of Westside High School, a keen love for soccer, and now a sophomore at U of H studying computer engineering. This is my son. I love him. Never did it cross Josephine's mind she could lose her son in this manner. He was only about a mile or so from home, leaving to get a haircut. His mother had just seen him earlier that morning. I saw money, say, Mommy, see you later. But that moment never came. I can't believe, like, I can't see Afray again. I can't believe it. According to investigators, it was 19-year-old Victor Antonio Ramirez who took Humphrey's life, charged with murder, granted a $500,000 bond. Why even give him the opportunity to get out at all? Killed my brother for no reason senseless, like pointless. Humphrey's family hopes to send his remains back to Tanzania for his funeral. They've set up a GoFundMe page to help with the process. I'm Svania Coley, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.